One of our favorite techniques is slip trailing and it is one of the most difficult to set up and probably requires the most skill to use. It takes a lot of practice to get good at slip trailing. I'm going to put up a couple videos um, to show you examples of great slip trailing. You're going to get a little taste of it if you choose to try it, but just remember that it's one of the tougher things, so proceed with caution. We have lots of different um, slip trailers. Sorry, I just had to go run and grab one of our really fancy slip trailers. This is an example of a slip trailer. It's just a little syringe. Um, this is what I uh, inject the clay into my veins with every morning. Um, we got this guy. It's kind of a ball that sucks up the glaze or the uh, slip and trails it out of that little front part. We've got these little like glue bottles that you can fill up. And, and this is the Primo stuff. Um, yeah, Zion. This is a great company. These little guys, I will check out to trustworthy students, but you can see the opening on that. It is super delicate, super sensitive. And look at how clean it is. Believe me, my eyes will be on you. Anyway, remember that we have that. If you're interested and you try out the basic ones first, I can uh, upgrade you. We have uh, about four of these available for students to use. All right, so step one is getting the slip from here into these guys. This one's easy enough. You just kind of open up the end, and you'll notice that both ends have an opening. So in order to get suction on one end, you need to put your finger or thumb over the other end. So again, I've stood this up, and what I'm going to do is, you can kind of see, I'm, I'm placing my hand over the back, and then grabbing it, and squeezing, and then that, I'm going to dip the end into the slip, and suck up as much as I can. Just be patient. It'll go. Okay, and I've got a lot on the end here. So what I'm going to do is put the little trailing stick, okay, the nozzle on, and then I'm going to go rinse that off real quick so I don't get my fingers full of slip. <clears throat> okay, good. So we're all loaded up here. Now to get the slip to come out, you also need to cover that back because otherwise the air is just going to come out of here. You really want it to come out the front. So I'm just going to test it out on the table here. Make sure it's all at the front. And there we go. You can see we get some pretty nice lines. Cool. Um, next one up, this guy. Don't lose the little red cap. Those are so important if you want to continue the next day. It's got a, a opening, but it's not open yet. So what you have to do is grab some scissors and cut this as far back as you want the opening to be. There's a marked line. That's where I'm going to go from. And that's a pretty big opening, but for some uh, slip application, that's pretty good. I'm going to come back to that one because I, this one I find to be the easiest for new students. This opening here is really tiny, and if you wanted to use that, you could, but chances are you're going to have some difficulty. So again, I like to cut these syringes back a little ways. You can always cut more, but that's about where I like to start. Now what's cool about these guys is the easiest to fill. You just stick the end, make sure that the plunger is all the way at the front, stick the end in there and just suck it up. There we go. Eight cc's. Or is that 80? I don't know. I'm, not a, I'm a ceramicist, not a doctor. Um, so that's full and it's ready to go. <clears throat> and the way that you would um, proceed with this guy is to just hold it however you can and then the, the trailing is pretty natural. What I like to do with these though is use them with this. It's very, very difficult to get the slip in here without one of these syringes. So what I'll do is I'll soak it up and then use that to fill, okay? And I can do it as many times as I need to. And 
fill this all the way up if I want and I can use that all week. Okay? This would screw on the top and I just give it a little shake to the front. Blah. And there we go. I can slip trail, I can make little dots. Happy fun time with slip. Okay? So any of these patterns, I, I tell students, hey, you know, practice on the desk. Why not? You know, let's not waste a bunch of slip, but let's get good at it before we go right onto our clay project. All right? The cool thing about this, let me take, take the camera out. Can you see how it's raised up? It will maintain that appearance. It will stay raised. Okay? The, the trick here is when you want to apply it, I've got my little demonstration piece. When you're ready to apply it, sometimes slip can flake off. So what I have over here is a little slip cup, full water, no color. Okay, I'm just going to wet a brush. And before I go to apply it, I'm just going to scrub the surface a little bit and work up a little bit of slip, moisturize the surface so that you're not going to score wet and weld it, but at least you're going to have a nice area where you're ready to apply. I could do that over these areas, but my brush isn't very clean and those are pretty wet still. So I'm going to apply some colored slip over these two areas here. First with this guy. You, know, you can move pretty fast with these and make some really interesting lines. I like to lay down uh, just some slip painting before I go to apply for contrast. You can see how much brighter that is on the darker background. Pretty cool. Okay, the last part of this video is about cleanup. Um, <laughs> this is the condition that I usually find slip tools in. And you can see that, that people are in a rush and they don't want to they don't want to clean up. I have little mini syringes. That one's actually not too bad. So um, you know the bulbs are separated from the nozzles. This is kind of a disaster over look at one of my fancy ones all totally clogged up. There's a bunch of slip inside here. Um, if we all, this one doesn't have a nozzle, it just has a hole in the back so you can squeeze and then uh, use the tip. You're going to have to clean stuff before you go to use it. All right? And it's much, much appreciated if when you put it back that you wash it out. Okay? Let's all try to, to pitch in and we won't have such a mess. We'll see if we can get these cleaned out before we go, uh, go forward. The easiest time to clean it out is right after you've done it because once that stuff dries inside that bottle, it's pretty useless. All right. I know this is one of the longer segments, but um, most people want to try this technique because they really like the way it looks when it's done. So give it a shot and please keep our tools clean. Happy trailing. Happy trails. That works, right? Happy trails.